class tools is a fantastic new feature for Chromebooks that can help keep every student engaged and on task. You'll need to make sure that your device is updated to version 137, and if it is, you will see the purple class tools icon in your shelf and in your launcher. This is the teacher's initial view. First of all, we are going to select our students via the connection to Google Classroom. All students will start selected and you should deselect anyone who isn't present. If you need to add a student who isn't on this list, you can invite them to join via a simple code that will display when the session starts. Next we're going to add resources. You can select assignments from Google Classroom. You can add URL links to websites and you can add any currently open tabs from your Chrome browser. A handy feature about doing it this way is that it shows if they are in different windows, so you can have them grouped together for easy access. You can keep students focused on what you want with these settings menus. Here you can set how restricted the tab will be, from only allowing access to that specific page, to all pages on the website, to no restrictions at all. Use these settings to reduce distractions and, by extension, make your students more productive. There are also accessibility functions built into class tools. You can enable captions on your screen and, when the session starts, allow students to view your captions on their devices as well. You can also allow them to translate the captions into other languages which you have access to here. The captions box sticks around and can be expanded with this arrow. Click next to continue. Now we need to set the length of the session. This can be adjusted during the lesson. Don't worry about making it too long because you can always end it whenever you like. Finally, we need to decide whether the students Chromebooks, Chromebooks will lock to class tools or whether they can navigate around their devices more freely. You can also change this during the lesson. Because locking the device to class tools turns off my recording software on my student's device, we're going to leave our student's Chromebook open. When you're done, click Start Session, and this will automatically open class tools on your selected student's Chromebooks. This is the view from our student. Because we started in an unlocked view, class tools has opened in a window and I can freely access Chrome and any other application on my device. They can see the session time remaining. They've got the option to have captions of their teacher's voice if you turn that on. And they can see the resources that you've made available, which will also be in the tabs at the top of the screen. There's a navigation bar which can be either on the left or right of their screen and there are backwards and forwards arrows for navigating websites and a refresh button. If this was in the locked mode, then there would also be a button to select whether the tabs are constantly showing or not. If we go to the assignments page, we can see what we would usually see in our classroom. This page was set to allow access to other Google sites only, which means that our student can access the presentation slides, the Google Doc for their work. However, they cannot access this link which goes to a non-Google site. Let's switch back to our teacher's view to fix this. If I go to my resources, I could change the restriction settings. This will refresh the page on my students' devices to apply the change. Or I could add the website as a new resource in the same way I did earlier. I have it open as a tab. So I'm going to select that. Doing this opens up the new tab automatically on my student's device. Back in the main menu of our teacher view, now that our session has started, we've got some new options. First of all, up the top, we've got the code that students can use to join our session. We can copy it or we can enlarge it. If we click on students, we now have the option to view their screens. In the interest of privacy, students are shown a notification a couple of seconds before you connect. 
and are shown a message for the duration of your stay. If you see some great work, why not use this window to show the rest of the class? You can also add more students and remove them in this screen. If you need to change your caption settings, for instance, allowing students access to your captions, you can do so here. And underneath that, we've got some handy functions. This class tools only button will turn on the locked mode. It's off at the moment because that's how we started it, but we can turn it on and off freely depending on whether we want to give them access to other parts of their Chromebook or not. Students are given a few seconds warning before their device locks the class tools. Next to this, we have the option to pause all of the students' devices, a very handy way to ensure that they are only focused on you. When you're finished talking, just unlock their device. Finally, we have the option to add additional time to our session or end it. Note that closing class tools with the X doesn't end the session for the student. You would need to end it with the end session button. When we click it, we're shown a reminder that we should ensure that all students have saved or submitted their work. When we confirm this by clicking end session, class tools will close on our student's device.